Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Aries, a relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple this month. Okay, guys, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Like, share, subscribe, please. I'm going to pull individual energy for Scorpio, and then I'm going to pull individual energy for Aries. Then we'll take a look at you guys as a couple. All right, I am going to use Romance Angels as my deck, right? And then I have the other deck too. All right, so let's take a look and see what's going on. Scorpio, where are you in this relationship with Aries? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you at the moment? Let me shuffle these again. All right. Give me your energy, Scorpio, in this relationship with Aries. What's going on? Where are you? What are you focused on at the moment? At the moment, what are you focused on? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So Scorpio, you're focused on Aries. You believe Aries is your soulmate. We're going to take a look at that. So far, that's what I see. We'll see what else comes out here. Something about a soulmate card. Yes, this is your soulmate. So there might be some thinking about a soulmate or something like that. I did pull you guys' energy before and the conscious card did come out. So that's some acknowledgement of your feelings for somebody. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Scorpio, I think there's coming somebody coming in for you or Aries is coming in for you. And I don't think they're like anybody you've dealt with before. So I feel like this is something that could be new. All right? Give me one more, please, for Scorpio. Give me one more for Scorpio. I also see something where there is something with, I don't want to say self-esteem, but you deserve love. Whenever you're in a position where you feel like you don't deserve love, that has to do with your self-esteem. So you guys could have this energy, like, I'm interested in this person. This person is not who I'm used to, but do I even want to go there because I don't know if I deserve love. So it could be some self-doubt, self-sabotage there. Give me more for Scorpio, please. Give me more for Scorpio. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Some of you guys could have children, all right? Um, I don't know if this is a marriage. I feel like this is new, to be honest with you guys. But some of you guys could come into it with children or something like that. Or maybe your Aries has children. Let's take a look and see what Aries energy is like here. What's going on with you, Aries? Give me your energy. Give me your energy, Aries. Give me your energy. Children. Okay, um, true love, this is a romance of a lifetime. Some of you guys are questioning this relationship or this connection. Is this my true love? I see that there's some doubt here. It looks like Scorpio might be sure of it, soulmate, but Scorpio also doubts that they can get what they want out of the situation in terms of connection because they're not sure that they actually deserve this, whatever that's about. Give me more for Aries, please. We do see true love is reversed. There, you know, it says release. Okay, release your ex. The time has come for you to clear your energy. Mm. Let me see where this goes. I want to see what the next card is. Give me one more for Aries, please. Wedding. Oh, okay. So far, we have true love comes out reverse. Release your ex. And I feel like there's something where you guys want to move on to, but there's something that keeps you stuck. There's something about an ex where you need to release these feelings of your ex person. The time has come for you to clear your energy. I feel like you guys want to make a decision about somebody. In some cases, some of you guys are deciding whether or not the ex is your true love. In some cases, you guys don't want to move forward with the current love because of the feelings that you have for your ex. I also see that some of you guys could be interested in marrying. Do I think it's a decision between the ex and your new person? I don't. I feel like this is a matter of... I don't want to move on because I still have feelings for my ex, whether you guys know it or not. I don't know how conscious you are, but I feel like for some of you guys, you're being held back because of an ex and your feelings for them. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. All right. So some of you guys are being advised to flirt. Now, even with this, I feel like you, if, if, if Scorpio is somebody that you're truly considering, I still feel like you're considering other people also, Right. I feel like you're questioning commitment altogether because you understand that there are some hangups or something like that. Let's see where you guys are. This is just in the area of love. And the reason why I decided to pull them this way is because I feel like with this couple, there's definitely something about emotions here. I do see that, but there's also a lot about um, personal development, dreams, career, the, that stuff, right? 
So I see a lot of that. So that's why I wanted to pull this deck to see what would actually come out under the umbrella of love. Scorpio. We have the Emperor card upright for you. I'm showing that there's somebody. I don't know if this is your energy. It could be. We're showing protection here. Some of you guys are being supportive. There's this male energy. It could be, I don't know, whatever you guys, whatever the situation is. And take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. Put the story where it fits. But don't make it up, obviously. But, you know, switch it around, whatever. So I feel like for Scorpio here, there's something where you guys could have this energy coming towards you or this is your energy where you're very supportive some of you guys could be in this old-fashioned state where you just support something like that right but i feel like for some of you guys here the cards are saying that you work with a purpose so whatever it is you're doing in terms of support you work with a purpose right the cards are also saying for some of you guys this is a separate note if there's something having to do with building work or something like that or financial issues those issues are going to be resolved long term right so i feel like that's something that you guys are working towards but along with that, I feel like there's somebody that comes in and provides some kind of protection for Scorpio, a supportive male, it says, right? Or male energy. The cards are saying that there's something that's going to be put in order here, all right? The card dictates order. Things getting lined up, ready to go. We also see the seven of pentacles reversed here. The cards are saying that this is about issues that come up. The card references many issues that come about for you guys. The cards are saying here uh, that somebody, either you or Aries, is beset with some kind of worries here. Now, these worries could have to do with um, money worries. There could be a, a cash crisis looming. Something could be coming like that. Or the cards are also suggesting that these things could be all in your head. They're perceived. The cards are saying that the way you're viewing the situation, Scorpio, is much more complex than it really is. Your views make it worse than it really is. So you could be overdoing something in your head, a lot of thinking about a situation. And these comp these, these things are going to be fixed because they're not as bad as you think they are. We also see the Six of Swords here. The cards are saying that there's something about problems being solved, right? Mm hmm the cards are saying that you are going to be able to take a trip somewhere. Some of you guys have these trips coming up, international travel. This could be a couple's trip, I think, for some of you guys, right? There's something about international travel coming up where you get to, your problems are not going to go away, but you get to get away from them just for a little while is what the cards are saying. There's time for you to recharge here. So I see that. Now, when I look at Aries, I feel like you guys might be having some conflicting schedules or something like that. Aries, we see the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So even for you, right, there's some kind of twist of fate that comes in. And this is whenever I read Scorpio and Aries, like they're usually the same story. And as I was thinking about it, I was like, you know what? I'm wondering why I never did like an Aries list. And I'm thinking this is why the energy is so similar. I think that I would be reading for Scorpio. Like, honestly, guys, like... This story literally is the same. I think it's just sequenced differently. But we do have the Wheel of Fortune for Aries, right? Now, the cards are talking about something with a backup career here. There's a twist of fate that happens for you. I do see that there's something here, Aries, where something... Could, I don't want to say go viral, but something could go viral for you. The cards are saying there's something about spontaneous success where something just happens for you and something blows up overnight like a video or whatever, whatever it is you're doing, the cards are saying you should be on your best behavior. Whatever you start to put out next, it could be like big news. So yeah, something good is coming up for you here, right? And we see the same thing. Something good is coming in for Scorpio after a time of hard work. I feel like there may be some sadness in the past for both you guys here. And I do see that energy, but the cards do say so far that each one of you are having your own individual successes here, right? So we see the spontaneous energy uh, for Aries, we also see these new creative pathways that come about for you guys with this new backup career. Some of you guys could be delving into other things. So whatever your career is, some of you guys could be enhancing hobbies. Some of you guys could just be, I don't know, just leaving whatever all together and going off and doing something completely different. So I see that here for you guys. But you guys, the most important thing here is because I see that there were some financial worries. We're not necessarily sure with who though. Because the cards are saying that Scorpio, you, or someone close to you, Aries, is beset with financial issues, right? So I see that that's kind of coming to an end for you here, all right? I see that there's going to be some kind of better successful time with the Wheel of Fortune reversed here. We also have the chariot. Again, this symbolizes travel. For some of you guys, this could, <laughs> for some of you guys, this could be about uh, having very uh, heightened sexual feelings or something like that. But we do see travel here. We see success after a time of determination, right? So you guys never stopped. 
I feel like there may have been some creative blocks along the way. But for you guys, you never stopped, right? But the cards are saying that this, this thing that you had to do at some point, maybe in this relationship or work, where you guys had to fiercely defend yourselves and your stance. I have to defend who I am. I have to defend why I do what I do. And I have to defend my position. The cards are saying that there's going to be something that's much easier for you. You're not going to have to defend yourself like that anymore. When I look at these cards, I see two individual people coming together at some point, but trying to figure out how. I don't know. I think it's a schedule thing. Um, I also see here, there's something where with you guys here, the hermit card, the cards are telling you to take a step back. So now I'm starting to think. I'm starting to understand why Aries is having this energy of look where they are, right? So the first card that came out is, are you my true love? And I see that that goes back to the Hermit card. The Hermit card is your situation dictates you having to stay in a certain place so you can get clarity on something, right? So you guys are packed away trying to get clarity on something. It could be getting clarity on this relationship where we stand, but the cards say you are being advised to be alone at this time while you figure this out. Now, the cards are also saying, and this is why I think you guys might, there might be a scheduling thing. There's something about distance here. The cards specifically say distance. You have to distance yourself, but it also goes into say remote. It also mentions distance, remote. So I feel like you guys are a couple here who are far away from each other, or maybe you're across waters or whatever. But I do feel like Aries is having some, um, thoughts about an ex-partner and this current relationship whatever this is about i feel like aries has a choice about who they want to deal with whatever that's about now i also want to tell you guys here that the cards are saying that you have to stay away from things that are familiar aries in order to gain some kind of new perspective some of you guys could have been down a little bit and this is a separate note not for everybody some of you guys may have been feeling a little bit bad lately because the Hermit card also symbolizes like you recovering. It's recovery after a time of surgery. Some of you guys could have had surgery or something like that, been in the hospital sick. So you're recovering right now. So we do see that energy. All right. Now, the common energy that I'm seeing for you guys, and this is what makes me think that you guys could be, I don't know, working folk or whatever, both negotiating. Both authoritative figures in your own right, whatever that's about. I also see here, it specifically says both you guys are possibly business people, but you are remote. So as a couple, you could be remote. Maybe you're trying to get together. There's some distance. And the cards are saying that this union is slightly uncomfortable in a sense. All right, because I don't feel like you guys are as familiar. So I think that you guys are, some of you guys are established, yes established but by distance meaning i don't see you every day i might talk to you on the phone every day you know we might be on video every single day but physically i'm not near you every day so when we do come together there's this element of uncomfort if that makes any sense right so i hopefully that'll wear off i would think right um the cards are also saying here that both you guys have to manage your emotions and i feel like this is part of what you do where you have to manage your emotions but I also feel like in terms of how you deal with each other, you have to manage your emotions. I get this feeling here, but that, you know, maybe one doesn't want the other one to da da da. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but I feel like there's something where both you guys have to manage. I think one might demand you manage your emotions better. And I feel like the other one may comply with that. But ultimately it says, the cards are saying that none of you guys are happy with the fact that you are restrictive in a sense, like you can't talk the way you want to talk or something like that. You have to master your emotions, but it does not make you happy. Ooh, I feel like that covers um, not only the relationship, but I also feel like it covers whatever whatever else is going on in your, li in your life in terms of finances and these choices that are coming up. But like I said before, I feel like this is a really good read. I feel like something serious is coming up for Aries. I feel like you guys are, there's something where you guys are probably going to trend. I feel, I feel like this is so social media driven and I hate to say it like that and be so modern with it, but really that's what it is. Now, um, either you guys are going to go viral, or literally you guys are going to go viral for something or I, I don't know, um, uh, maybe the family would be talking about you because you did something. I don't know. Whatever that's about. I want to take a look at the common energy for you guys. Now, we pulled these, and I'm like, why are you doing this again, cuz? And I explained it earlier, because I'm dealing with folk. I don't want to say people who don't have emotions, but 
you know, I mean, they, they're about whatever they're about. Look like they're about their business. So they found each other and they're trying to connect. But I feel like Aries is having some reservations here, thoughts about it, because they understand that there are some hangups. So that's what I'm talking about with Aries and the open and honesty thing. Like, they're like, listen, I still have some feelings for my ex. Where Scorpio would sit there and just, you know, I'm going to pray it away and never talk about it. Scorpios, you just need to talk. Like, say what you got to say. Show me uh, common energy for this couple, please, with Scorpio and Aries. That's the one thing I do at my about them. A little bit more bold. Hmm. All right, let's see. So, give me the common energy for this couple. We see that there's some negotiating, trying to get together. I see that you guys both have this quiet, authoritative way about you. Both of you are intuitive folk, so you can kind of read each other. Both are remote. I think you, there's some distance in this relationship, possibly over water or over air. Local, you know, air. Whatever. But having to master your emotions. Where are we in love, please? Where are we in love? Why are we mastering emotions? Why are we not communicating? Or are we? What are we hiding? What's going on? Make the effort. Yep, I think... Um, <clears throat> When I when I pull and make the effort, I just want to see something here. You deserve love. If Scorpio is not making the effort, it's because Scorpio might have some issues with whether or not. Oh, do I deserve this? Like I'm too scared to take a chance. Do I deserve this? What if this happens? You know, you know, just like I don't know, just just overdoing something to the point where it doesn't exist anymore, right? Just overanalyzing, right? So Scorpio's got that. But then we have Aries who's really thinking, do I want to make the effort or, or could I possibly want to extend my lighthearted energy to somebody else? All right. I, I have the freedom to play in a sense, right? Give me more, please. Give me more, please, for this couple. Common energy, please. Common energy. New love. <clears throat> this is, when did this come up? Where did new love come up? You deserve love, soulmate, keep an open mind, children, hold on, wedding, true, true love comes up twice, nope, true love comes up, new love, mm -hmm. wedding, flirt, release your ex, uh, I feel like you guys have the option to deal with other people, new love, somebody new has stared your romantic interests, I do see that here, so what I'm seeing is it could be a new person coming in for Scorpio, that could be the soulmate or the soulmate could be you, Aries. I feel like you guys have choices. That's what I feel like. Give me one more, please. Give me one more for this couple under common energy, please. Make the effort, new love. I'm not sure if I want to do that. I think you guys are still making decisions and deciding. Give me one more, please. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So I feel like there's some work being done there under healing family issues. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I think there's a lot of decisions that need to be made in this. I feel like you guys are questioning. I think Scorpio is a little bit more willing to jump into this. But remember, Scorpio is also dealing with these issues here. These, these, you know, you know what they bring to the table. Do I deserve love? These, these self-esteem issues. And then we have an Aries who's like... Is this really what I want? So I feel like both you guys are questioning or are recognizing what issues I could have with Scorpio. But with Aries, it's like, what do I want? Let's see how this goes with these other cards. Hold on, guys. You know what? I do. You know what? You know I'll pull these first. Give me one second. Let me pull one of these. Let me pull what's being hidden or whatever. I forget the name of these cards. Oh, the Hidden Truth. The Hidden Truth Oracle. These. All right, let's see. Give me the hidden truth. Give, just give me one for, give me one for Scorpio. What's Scorpio hiding? What is Scorpio hiding? What is Scorpio hiding in this relationship with Aries? What is Scorpio hiding, please? What is Scorpio hiding? What is Scorpio hiding? I couldn't let you get close to me. Okay. So Scorpio couldn't let Aries get close. Uh, Aries, what are you hiding from Scorpio? <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, guys. I am becoming a better person. Why are you hiding that? Okay. What's hidden? All right. Maybe you don't want people to know just yet. Give me messages, please. A message from Scorpio. From Scorpio to Aries. Now, Aries. Let's see. Let's 
see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Look at this. This is just... All right, so... You know that irks me, right? So we gotta just... Okay. Give me a message from Scorpio. From Scorpio to Aries. From Scorpio to Aries. One message, please. One message from Scorpio to Aries. This can't work. Scorpio. Aries, what do you have to say to Scorpio? Aries, what do you have to say to Scorpio? I get lost in your eyes. But I might be coming out of that energy, though. Because I found somebody else. <laughs> Scorpio, what do you have to say to Aries, please? What do you have to say to Aries? I am emotionally unavailable. The energy is starting to feel reversed. <sighs> Give me one more. From Aries to Scorpio. Take what resonates, guys. Leave the rest behind. Who's Wherever the story lies, these messages, that's how the messages go. You know where to place them. Let's see. I can't commit to you. I can't commit to you. I can't commit to you. Scorpio's emotionally unavailable. So it says here, this can't work. Too much doubt. Too much doubt. Anybody would be like, all right. So with that, that would answer, I guess, why Aries is searching elsewhere. You know, I don't know. I'm not making any speculation. I'm just saying. So whatever that means to you guys, that's all I have for you guys. I think that's it. I well, I do want to do. Well, let's see if there's no communication. Let's see. We'll pull a couple of no communications. So I hope you guys understand why I started with love because it was just like, it was literally all work. I'm like, what is this? It's all work. But while I'm here, while I'm here, I might as well tell y'all some stuff too since I got a minute, right? So what I did find for Scorpio at some point was there was going to be some reward for hard work and we do see that coming in. It looks like some support comes in for Scorpio or Scorpio uh, providing support to Aries. But I see that there's something with a legal dispute that's going to actually go in Scorpio's way. There's something about contracts. And as long as you stay on top of it and determined effort, it looks like there's going to be some resolve of legal issues for Scorpio. All right. Uh, also, there's some gifts coming in. I'm feeling like it could be from this person who's coming in to give. That could be you, Aries, or it could be somebody in business or something like that. Um, is there anything else? Something about Scorpio receiving gifts. That's basically what it says here. But I do see some, that there were some feelings here from Aries. Um, it was felt like you guys were trapped in something. I feel like the energy's turned around. You were trapped in some creative block or something like that. Um, and the cards are also saying that you guys had all these good things right in front of you. But because of this energy, there was this energy. You couldn't see it. That's okay. It happens, right? But the cards and what is consistent, the whirlwind of success. You guys, are there's something is going to happen with you guys. <laughs> I don't know when. Whatever, you know, depending on who you are, whatever, what you do, whatever is viral to you. I think viral is viral. Be on your best behavior. Smile. Anyway, I'm done. I love you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Uh, we'll see what's going on with Aries because these energies are very similar. However, I'm going to try, I'm going to see something because I noticed that the energy did change with Scorpio. See, Scorpio's been taking L's the whole set. Like they lost, they got dumped on the first card. This one took off with the one down the street or whatever happened. So this Scorpio seems to be having a little bit better luck. And based on the energy that I see with Aries, it looks like there's some better luck or a change. So with that, I wonder how Aries is operating other relationships. We'll see. All right, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share. Wait. Subscribe. Ah, 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 ah. Please. All right. I love you guys. Bye.